In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the graphics using Pixlr. Pixlr is a free online graphic editor. It's a very smart to Photoshop, but you don't need any installation to work on Windows and Mac. It's free and it's very simple to use. So all you have to do is just go to pixlr.com and then go to the Pixlr editor. Then you can just load the image. You can also load the Photoshop files, but we're going just to load the, the PNG files. So just go open image from computer and let's select the feature box you can see that there's a no Photoshop folder uh, once you unzip your product so you're going to use this one if you use Pixlr and these are basically the, the images without text you have to add the text in Pixlr uh, in order to customize it so let's open the feature boxes uh, 01 you can see there's no text here, but all the graphics are right here. You can double click the zoom tool to make it 100% size. And then just press the, you can see there's a text tool. It's similar to Photoshop, just click the text tool. And then you can select where you can where you can place the text. For example, right, right here, you can top features. You can change the color of it. So now for example, here you can change to this one. You can also change the, the size. You can make it bigger. Maybe let's do impact. There are actually many different fonts here. Let's do impact. You can also change the style if you want. Let's use regular, OK. Then it, then you can just press the move tool. You can move it around. So let's make it centered right here. OK, now we can add the text right here. So let's add it right here. This can be the first feature. Again, you can change the, the size, the color. Let's make it like this. Then you can move it around, you can make it maybe this, maybe a bit bigger. So let's make it like this. You can move it around, you can also place the subtext under the headline. It can be, it can be more, more information about this point. And maybe let's do it uh, Arial, maybe this one, a bit smaller. Maybe a bit more grayish, grayish color. That's good. You can you can move it around again. Just make sure it looks good. So you can see on the right there's uh, you can you have to select the layers in order to move them. For example, if I select this layer, I can just move this layer. If I want to move this layer, I have to select it in the layers window first. So let's move it right here, and this maybe right here. You can also duplicate the layers, just right click and click duplicate layer. So it will be a bit faster. So then you can just move it right here and do the same with the, this, just duplicate and move it right here. So you can see it's, uh, it's faster. And again, you can just edit, just select. Sometimes you have to uh, actually select here the layers first before editing. You can see sometimes it doesn't uh, work. So the second and so on. So once you save it, you can go to the file and then you go to the save. And then you can save it in different places. Save to my computer. You can specify the name and the format. I'm going to use JPEG. It's good for most photos. Uh, it doesn't uh, wait a lot and it's a really good quality. Then click OK and just save it whenever you want on your computer. Then you can put it on your website. You can also save it as a um, PXD layer pixel image. This is very useful if you want to change maybe the text layer. So I would advise you to, to save always as a JPEG and the PXD format. So whenever you want to change the graphic, you can just load in Pixlr and change it. If you want to do that, then you have to add the text one more time.
uh, takes time. So it's better to save as a build format. Okay, so let's do another example. Let's go here. Actually, let's go here. Go to the file, new image. File, open image. And that's the YouTube channel backgrounds. Let's do this one. We can also make it bigger. You can see these backgrounds are quite big, but um, here is the place for the text. If you don't know where to put the text, just load, uh, just go to the previews of my graphics for this module and you will see how I made it in Photoshop. So you can just make it accordingly. Let's make it a bit smaller, just a bit too big. Zoom out, right click and click zoom out. Will be easier to edit. And let's press the text color text again. And let's do, for example, John Smart. Let's make it bigger, like this. We can again change the font to whatever you want. This the white color would work really well here. So let's move right here. Additionally, if you right click on the layer right here and click layer styles, you can edit some cool stuff like shadows, for example, you can add the shadow here. You can also change uh, different things. You know, it's really up to you what you want to do here. But you can do different things like this. Let's uh, click duplicate the layer, right click, duplicate. Then press the move tool and you can move it right here. Then press the text tool, select it. You know, the digital digital marketing expert. So let's make it maybe a different color. Let's do something like this. Maybe smaller. Different font, maybe like maybe like this. Then then we can move it around, for example, right here. Make it center, we can also uh, we can move this and this one a bit down to make it centered. And that's pretty much it. So all you have to do now is just go and save the file. And that's pretty much it. Let's do another, uh, another example. Let's do logo design. With the logo design, there is only the, the logo here. Let's do maybe another one. It is. Okay. So, in this case, you have to place the text on the right. So, here will be, for example, mobile. Mobile is bigger like this. You can move it right here. And let's duplicate this layer. Technologies. Let's maybe it a bit different. Let's do something like this. This color. You can move it around. So that's your logo. You can also select this layer. You can also move it around if you want to have it in a different way. Once you do it, you have to, you have to crop it to, to whatever size you want. So just select the crop tool right here. And then we can, let's see. We can specify the size, for example, let's say, let's do maybe just no restrictions. We can just select this, double click, and it's done. So that's how you can change it. You can also click image size right here. You can make it smaller if you want, for example, 300 pixels to make it smaller. It seems it messed a bit the text, so we have to change the uh, text size a bit. Just make it a bit smaller. Just move it a bit. And that's pretty much how you can edit. You can see oh, you can edit most of the graphics uh, without Photoshop. All you have to do is you have to just edit, just add the text layer in Pixlr, just move it a bit, 
and then you can save it and it's very similar to Photoshop.